Welcome to this Blackpool Music School video all about the ukulele. In this video I am using my Carla Tenor Resonator Ukulele. You may notice a volume button here, I had a pickup installed on it. And as you can hear, I'm about two foot away from the camera and you can hear it's got a bit of a ring to it. So, anyway, let's get on with the lesson. In this lesson, I'll be teaching you some blues ukulele. So, let's get started. In this video, we'll be playing in the key of A. So the chord you'll need to know is an A, a D, and an E7. Now, the 12 bar blues, a simple 12 bar blues, I will write the chords in the description down below. Remember, for each letter, for each individual letter, there are four strums, or four counts, I should say. So one letter would be one and two and three and four and a count of four in eighths. One and two and three and four and that would be for each letter. So we start off with four bars of A. So after four, one and two and three and four and. Then there's two bars of D. Two bars of A. One bar of E, one bar of D, and two bars of A. And that will be a simple 12 bar blues. There are many variations, but we'll just stick to this one for now. Now you can add more to the A chord. While you're strumming an A, you can add your ring and little finger to the second and third fret of the E string. Like this, one and, add the third, your ring finger at the second fret, down up. Then add your little finger to the third fret of the E string, down up, then back to the ring. So you get this sound. So it's open, down up, add your ring finger to the second fret of the E string, a down up, add your little finger to the third fret of the E string, down up, then back to the second. So one bar of A will now be. As you can hear it adds a bit more to the A chord. So one bar for one letter down below would be down, up, add, add, back, down. So one bar is one bar. One and two and three and four and. And you do that four times for the four bars of A. When we get to the D chord, we do a D shape here, and if you can, you can put your little finger on the 4th fret of the G string. Again, one bar will be down, up, on, down, up, on, D, add, D, add. So the two bars of D will be... Then you go back to the A chord. E7, you can do E7 like that, normal position, normal way. Add your little finger to the third fret of the A string, back to E, and again. So, then the D shape. Then the A shape again. So A will be D. Thank you. 
and as you can hear it adds a bit more to your playing. So an A chord A D E7 Them adding notes make all the difference. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Blackpool Music School for more videos. Until next time, take care, keep playing and goodbye.